Hey yo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, and you guys have all been asking, right, your link's dead to, to OBS shader filter, it's not working, you can't download it, what am I to do? Well, have no fear, I'm here to sort you out. It is still available, but it's just not on the OBS website, so I'm going to teach you how to get it all installed, alright? Don't worry, I don't know what's going on, but hopefully soon, if you're watching this, please let us know in the comments below what is going on, why it's been removed from OBS, or if anybody does know, please let me know, alright? Let's get into it. Put your rock over the stone. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV really takes your stream to the next level with their overlays, easy to use emote makers, stream deck icons, Twitch bit, you name it, they have got it. You can combine all these overlays with the plugin that we're going to be using today, which is the shader filter to really get some crazy looking streams and it's super easy to do. You can save yourself a cheeky 50%, that's right, half price if you use offer code ANDY50 at checkout and your purchase goes to supporting the channel. Thanks Own.TV for sponsoring this portion of the video. So getting this downloaded is pretty simple and easy to do. Instead of going to the OBS website, we're actually going to go to CERN's GitHub page, which is just here. I'll leave the link all in the description, so don't worry about that. And we're just going to scroll down on this page. We don't even need to be logged into GitHub or anything like that. So we're just going to scroll down and you'll see assets just here. So we just click that open and you'll see the OBS shader filter win.zip. So we're just going to click on that and that should start downloading. We're going to open that up. I'll drag this in and you'll see we've got this OBS-Studio folder and inside of there we've got data and OBS plugins. All we're going to do is copy data and OBS plugins just there and we're just going to copy that and we can go to now our C drive into program files or maybe program files 86 it depends where your OBS is stored mine's in program files and you should see OBS-Studio all lowercase just double click into that and then paste directly into there because I already have it installed it's going to ask me if I want to replace these so you can press replace if you're updating it or anything like that uh, other than that you can just uh, press next 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 as you do it might ask for admin privileges as well once all that's installed you'll be able to see that you've got it installed correctly because if you go into OBS right click on any source at all go to filters and under effects filters we can add a new filter and you should see user defined shader if you're not seeing that it means that you've probably not installed it into the correct location so maybe check program files 86 or something like that you might have OBS stored somewhere else and it'll work exactly as all my other tutorials show you you just create the shader file filter and then you can use effect shaders load it from the text file so that's what we want to do we're going to browse for the filter and it should open this examples folder that have got a bunch of different shaders in there so for instance i can use some rounded corner shaders so if i go down to say rounded corner rounded rectangle or rounded stroke open that up you'll see if i change the radius here i'm going to bump that up and it will actually start making the edge of my source rounded so right now you probably can't see it because I need to click off it and now you can see round my source is all rounded so I can resize it as well if I want to I can change a border thickness so I can make a, a thick white border on there I can change the border color to something like red and there's a load of different shaders that you can use and they are super easy to use I've got a ton of tutorials on all these kind of different shaders that you can use so make sure you do check out the channel I'll leave a video as well at the end and in the description but I want to say a huge thanks to all these people that helped me make this content full time if you want to support the channel then consider joining patreon pressing super thank all that jazz you know what to do and also check out this video just here because this will help you with some more shader filters all right put your rock up for the stone see you in the next one